Hello again, this is Jonathan, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the basics. So what we're going to do is build a very simple video with a few different files, um, kind of walk you through the flow, the basic, you know, video editing flow, very basic, but I'm going to try to keep this very easy um, and show you a few different ways to do things. So we're going to start out by, we need to add our files to the project. The first step of any video editing project is to add our files. Um, there's a few different ways we can do that. Um, the easiest is just open up your file system on your computer, which has your folders and files on it, and select your files and just drag them into OpenShot. So it doesn't get much easier than that. Um, another way you can, I'm gonna remove them here. Another way you can add files is by right clicking and saying import. And even another way is to click the green um, plus sign, and that brings up this little dialog, and you can select multiple files. Um, but again, the easiest way is to just drag them in. So now, once we have all of our files inside OpenShot, the next step is to move them down to our timeline in some order. So I'm going to start with moon, and it's just a picture of a moon. So we've added moon. That's the first thing we're going to put in our video. Um, I can click anywhere on this this bar here, which is kind of like our um, like a ruler or a timeline. These are different times: 48 seconds, 32 seconds, 16 seconds. Um, so they represent the time of our video. So things kind of runs left to right. Um, so the very first clip we added is our moon. Um, so the next one, let's see. I will grab a Minecraft picture. And so you can see by just clicking and kind of dragging um, on this bar, I can preview our video and kind of, of course, we can move things around. It's very easy. So it kind of gives you the, hopefully, the idea that you can kind of drag your clips down. Um, so let's see my, my next one. Let me reorder these a bit. So my next one will be clouds. Okay, so that gives us three kind of cool pictures. Um, and then we also have a video, which is Big Buck Bunny, a fun video. If you haven't watched it, I suggest you take a look. Um, so this is just a, a video. So as you can see, we're just kind of scrubbing through it or, or watching it. Um, and then I have an audio clip up here, and I'm going to drag that below my pictures. Um, and so this is where the magic kind of starts to happen. Um, anything that's stacked on top of each other, like this audio clip and this picture, they play at the same time. Kind of like you can imagine that red line is is what's going to play at that moment. Um, and you can have as many things stacked as you want, um, which is pretty uh, fun. And you can do a lot of very creative things. So, for example, if I want to play this back, I can use our preview controls and hit play. Now, it's not a very long um, audio clip. It kind of ends right there. But you can imagine if it was a longer clip, it would continue to play um, play behind the, um, you know, behind all of our photos. Um, so that's, that's one way. It's just simply dragging files onto our timeline until we're happy. Um, I'm going to drag and select them all and right click. And that gives me all sorts of fun menus, which we'll cover in a later video. Um, but one of the options is remove, and that will remove things from our timeline. Um, so let's sh let's talk about another way. Um, another way we could have added all of these clips is just simply by dragging our mouse and selecting them, and right clicking and choosing add to timeline. And this is a very fun little uh, window. These buttons down here can kind of shuffle or um, or let you move things up and down. You can decide what track you want to put these clips on. Um, you can even do things like fading and zooming. Um, for example, I can add transitions. But let me go ahead and click OK. And you can kind of see what happened. It added all of those files onto the timeline um, in the order that we had specified, which in this case was random. And that doesn't really make sense. But, um, but if you had, a, for example, 
a photo slideshow or a sequence of video clips that you wanted to play in a certain order. Um, you, can, um, you can kind of imagine that's a very quick way um, to add them to the timeline. Um, so while we're talking about the timeline, um, you can, as I said before, you can drag your mouse to select multiple things and then you can click and drag all these things at the same time. So um, moving things around becomes pretty easy. They kind of snap to each other to keep it simple. Um, so let's see, that, that gives you some, some basic idea of the functionality. Um, let me go ahead and highlight these three and I'm going to hit the delete key, which is going to remove them, another way to remove things. Um, and I'm going to, to zoom up on our timeline. So this bar right here, it's a very long bar. Um, this gives us our basic zoom control so we can, we can get in real close, um, we can pull it back and see a whole bunch of clips at the same time. So it's just changing our time scale, if that makes sense, kind of zooming in, zooming out. Um, so we can see it a little better. So another really neat thing is sometimes you don't just want one picture to snap to the, to the next picture. You know, you want it to kind of gradually fade. So this is very easy in OpenShot. All you have to do is drag one clip on top of another, and you will see this little blue shape. And that blue shape represents a transition. And a transition, if I'll just hit the play button and show you. So in this case, it's just a simple fade. I mean, it looks very nice and you don't have to do anything fancy. All you have to do, so I'll do that again. I will click on that and hit delete and I will separate them again. Um, so I just simply drag one over the other as much as I want to overlap them um, and let go. And we've just created a transition, just that easy. So that is one way to do transitions. And there are also, and let me go ahead and remove that. There are also hundreds and hundreds of transitions that ship with OpenShot. And so you can click on the transitions tab and there are a bunch of them, um, lots of very interesting one like puzzle pieces. So let's try that one. Um, so adding puzzle pieces, you can see we can transition um, between the two clips, but it now instead of it fading, it's revealing the next picture um, through the puzzle pieces. So pretty neat. Um, you kind of get the get the idea there. Okay, and lastly, we're gonna go back to our files, and I'm gonna show you one more thing that's pretty cool. We're gonna right click, add a timeline, and this time we are going to say we would like the pictures to zoom in, and we would like a random transition between them. Um, so go ahead and say OK. So now this is where it gets very interesting. It put our video first. So let's get here where it starts to fade. Now we have random transitions um, and we have zooming on each picture. So this, this is where you start to see the real power um, of being able to add multiple things at the same time and add effects and transitions all with one simple dialogue. That was our audio clip, of course. Um, so, so that's the basic thing. So let me um, let me move this stuff. Actually, let's just let's just clear this one more time. I'm going to highlight it and hit the delete key. Um, so let's just drag Moon down here. This is and maybe Minecraft. Those are two fun clips and overlap them. So now we have um, we have a very 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 simple fade between two pictures. Um, okay, so let's pretend that we have our video, it is perfect, we've put our clips in the order we want them, um, we've previewed it with our, with our little preview player, and we're happy. So the very next thing we're going to do is up here at the top of the screen, there's a red button. And we're going to click that red button. And it pops up a very simple um, export window. And without really having to explain all this, you can pretty much give your file a name and hit, so we'll say um, moon video. We've created a, well, a moon Minecraft video. And so all we have to do is click export video. 
And once this is done, um, we will have a brand new video that has been created, which is um, going to look just like our preview did. But now we have our very own, you know, um, video file that we could upload to a website. We could upload to YouTube. Um, we could share it with somebody, email it to somebody, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so basically that, that is the, the basic operation of OpenShot. Um, just to kind of recap, we add our, our files that we want to include. We sequence them and put them in some order on our timeline. Um, we can zoom in and out of our timeline. And when we are happy, we can export our video as a brand new video file. So it doesn't get much easier than that. Of course, there's a bunch of advanced things you can do as well. Um, and we'll cover those in future videos. So I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.